Doll customizing is a form of art where you can transform your dolls into different characters. May it be a celebrity, your favorite cartoon character, or just anything that you want your doll to look like. It's actually up to you and the possibilities are really endless. So if you want to learn how to customize your doll, we're going to break it down from start to finish in a series of videos. So for today's episode, I'll be sharing with you what materials do I use in doll customizing. So, what are you waiting for? Let's begin! Buying repainting supplies can be sometimes overwhelming. With a wide array of art supplies you can use, it can be sometimes get confusing. Here are some of the materials I use in repainting my dolls. Let's start with paint brushes. For paint brushes, I normally use different shapes and sizes of brushes. It depends on the parts that I'm working on. Well, I use a size 1 synthetic nylon brush for shading. It's pointed enough to navigate into the smallest shading spots. So for thicker outlines and details, I use a size 000 or 3 over 0 synthetic brush. And for more finer lines like lashes, brow hairs, I use 5 over 0 or 15 over 0 brushes. I also use different sizes of small flat brushes for contouring, transition colors, and blushing can buy them in sets in nail art supply stores. I use a flat fan brush for dusting off dirts or excess chalk pastels after blush. Then finally, I have an old toothbrush that I use when cleaning my brushes after repainting. Now we proceed to coloring materials. For repainting, I use low viscosity acrylic paints. My brand of choice would be the Golden Acrylic brand because of its workability and pigmentation. And as a beginner, I suggest that you just buy the primary colors and mix them to the color of your liking. Then just add your neutral colors like black, white, and brown. For contouring and transition colors and even in blushing, I use Munyo Soft Pastels. Now for mediums and sealants, I use the following. For acrylic mediums, I use Golden Acrylic Flow Release. It makes the acrylic paint to flow easily for more workability, slower drying time for blending and transitional colors, and it also avoids the streaking of the paint for a more even finish when dry. For initial sealing, I use Mr. Super Clear UV Cut Flat. Just make sure that you're in a well-ventilated area and your nose and hands are protected when using this product. For the eyes, I use a matte acrylic varnish. It also helps you avoid glaring when you're taking photos or videos of your dolls. For the lips, I use golden gloss varnish for a more natural satin finish. But you can pack on layers depending on how much you want your doll's lips to be glossy. For cleaning materials, I use the following. I use a nail polish remover with acetone for removing factory paints. Then, for easy to remove factory paints, I use cotton balls with acetone. And for stubborn, hard to remove factory paints, I normally use a melamine sponge with acetone. I also use brush cleaners every after repaint. It maintains the bristles to be soft and it also makes the brushes last longer. And finally, here are the other tools and materials that I use. I always use two jars of water. The first one is for watering down acrylic paints, and the second one is for rinsing paint brushes in between change of colors. It is also important to have a mixing palette for mixing acrylic paints and soft pastels. I also use a paint rug to wipe off excess water and acrylic paints. This would also help you out in avoiding streakiness of the paint when you're applying it to your doll. It is very important to have a lamp or a great light source. 
I normally use three lamps when working on a doll for a more controlled lighting condition any time of the day. So there you have it. These are the materials that I use for repaints. You can buy these items in your local art stores, drug stores, or even online. I'll be putting some links on the description box below. I hope you enjoyed this video and give it a thumbs up and share it to your friends. And please give us a comment down below and tell us what you think. And remember to click the subscribe button and hit the bell to stay updated for new contents. And see us in our other social media accounts. And always remember, if you cannot have one, you can always make one. Customize your life and your doll because life's a doll. Thank you for watching.